Hi everybody. This video will lay out the three most obvious reasons that 5G should be stopped immediately. I'm Fleming Blegger, I'm a radio communications educator electronics engineer and I've previously worked for the telecom industry. The first obvious reason to stop 5G, the telecom industry, is lying about 5G. And now I can almost see the puzzling look on your face saying like, lying? What are you saying? Yes, they are lying about 5G. 5G is not 5G and you don't have to take my words for this. You can do the test yourself. I suggest that you call your company where you are having your cell phone subscription. Ask them when 5G was turned on in your hometown. Then ask them if they can describe the 5G core network. In 2G, the overall description of the network infrastructure was called GSM or in America CDMA. In 3G, it was called UMTS and 4G, it was LTE. So your telephone company should be able to tell you what their 5G infrastructure is called and what it looks like. However, they cannot do this. And this is because they would have to tell you that it is LTE and exactly the same network as they are using today for 4G. So 5G is not 5G. It's an antenna upgrade of 4G and it runs on the same 4G LTE network. So why are they lying about this? Here I will have to refer you to some of the other videos that I have put up on this uh, channel on YouTube, BitTube or Brighton if you want to understand this fact. So I'll go on to the second obvious reason for stopping 5G. The people simply did not demand 5G. This is very important. Look at any of the 5G commercials on TV or somewhere else on the internet. Almost 100% of them states how you, yourself, aka the customer, have demanded that the telecom companies provide 5G as soon as possible. But did you ever make that demand? I think not. And the situation is the same in every country. It's not that we are opposing 5G or even self-driving cars. It's just that we are being told a lie again. Just like the fact, fact that the 5G is not 5G, it's the same lie. The people did not demand 5G. Again, I can prove what I'm saying. Just like most other countries, the Danish government has generated a 5G action plan. And they've made this action plan public in the beginning of 2019. I've linked uh, to, to this plan in the description field of the video. And I've linked actually to the English version of this uh, plan, uh, 5G plan for Denmark. On page 12 of this English version, you will see this particular paragraph that should be appearing on your screen now. It states clearly that 4G can cater for all the use cases that we know of today. There's no demand for 5G and the people definitely was not about to do an uprising if 5G was not being rolled out in 2020 or before. I've linked to the Danish government's 5G action plan and most countries have similar plans in place. The third obvious reason for putting an immediate stop to 5G is that 60 gigahertz will steal away your oxygen. 60 gigahertz is in use in several ways regarding 5G and Internet of Things. And here are some facts regarding 60 gigahertz. It is the new Wi-Fi standard called in 802.11 AD slash AY. And 60 gigahertz is used in 5G as a fiber replacing technology. It can also be used by ISPs, Internet Service Providers, like Facebook Telegraph. 60 gigahertz steals the oxygen right out of the air. And I've made several video about this terrible secret, the last one, regarding 60 gigahertz and how it's stealing the oxygen out of the atmospheric air, disabling the body from recognizing the oxygen molecule as the oxygen that the body so desperately need. You should go and watch this video if you are interested in knowing more about the terrible secret of 60 gigahertz. Unfortunately, as 60 gigahertz is now used in internet routers, 
It could be the next demand by the family's teenage gaming son to have a super fast 60 gigahertz internet router. And here's a 60 gigahertz router readily available on Amazon. Please note the several antennas mounted, which enables the router to do beamforming te technology and other technology that is also going on elsewhere in, in the 5G network. And even the internet service providers, the telecom companies, can, because they control what kind of modem you use for your uh, Wi-Fi router at home, so they can incorporate 60 gigahertz at any given moment if they haven't already done that. In the public space, the telecom industry is already using 60 gigahertz as an effective fiber replacing technology. The telecom company are putting up 60 gigahertz backhaul links in order to save money for digging expensive 5G capable fiber cables into the ground. But maybe most alarming of all is the possibility that 60 gigahertz is used by internet service providers just like Facebook Telegraph to provide street level internet coverage. If you live in Hungary, Facebook Telegraph can already provide 500 megabit per second download in the public space. And in the UK, Facebook Telegraph promises commercial kits available this summer. We're talking 2020. All you need is a 60 gigahertz smartphone, just like this one, the Google Pixel 4 smartphone. Another thing worth mentioning is that uh, the allowed radiation level for 60 gigahertz varies from country to country. In the US, the allowed level of 60 gigahertz radiation is set to an alarming 82 dBm, which amounts to 158,000 watts. This is the equivalent power of 158 microwave ovens. I hope you do understand how alarming this 60 gigahertz technology is and how obvious it is that we have to stop 5G. Please help in the process and share this video with as many as possible. If you like, you can also subscribe to this channel and stay informed when I put up another video. Thank you for watching and please do take action against 5G and 60 gigahertz. Sinking feeling comes near.